back everyone. There's obviously nothing wrong with the SGL 31 as it comes from the factory. In fact, it's one of my favorite rifles on planet Earth. But they are sort of plain Jane, sort of utilitarian looking. And one way to dress them up is to add some nice furniture on there like what you see here in front of you today. This is the Comblock Customs uh, set that we got in probably about a month ago. Been shooting it for a while now. It's holding up great. Little scuffs, because that's me. It has nothing to do with the product itself. But it's all up great. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna step inside, take a closer look at some of this stuff, and show you just the uh, quality of the finishing and the wood that they use, and uh, let you know what I think of it overall. But that's what's coming up today, guys. Unfortunately, I shoot the narration part of these reviews inside. I do that to minimize uh, wind distraction and rain and any other elements that might get in the way of shooting these videos. But one negative of that is that the natural beauty of the wood and the finish doesn't quite come out quite as well as it would in natural sunlight so forgive me for that but i will roll in more pictures at the end of this uh this stock set there in natural sunlight to show you really just how nice it really does look i'm sure some of it still comes across though even inside but uh getting out of the product the base product if you order a furniture set from combat customs is going to be ironwood designs furniture set now ironwood designs makes furniture for pretty much every AK variant out there. So if you have an AK variant and you want to put some nice wood furniture on it, you can probably get it done from Combat Customs um, as they use it, uh, as they use the Ironwood Designs furniture, I should say. Um, nice fit and finish. Everybody knows the design of the Ironwood furniture is top-notch, uh, true to the original if you want that. They also make some that are a little bit off of the original, but um, excellent, excellent quality product they make. And uh, John over at Combat Customs turns it into really a work of art, in my opinion. Um, you can see the pistol grip here. Nice pistol grip. Fills up the hand nicely, much more so than your standard uh, polymer AK-74 grip. And the stock here is gorgeous with the uh, lightning cut. Um, the fit here on my SGL-31 was a little bit off. Honestly, I could have forced it in there, but I didn't want to just because it looked so nice. Um, but I could have done that if I wanted to. Just a side note on that. And also, typically the furniture sets do not come with hardware. However, Ironwood made a set that did come with hardware, kind of a limited production run of them, and that's what this is. So mine did come with hardware. Typically yours will not, though, so you'll just use the hardware that came in your original AK. Or you can buy it, you know, real cheap online on eBay. But you can see here, very, very nice looking uh, furniture. The finish on a lot of them, not all, but a lot of the finishes they do is, is shellac. So this one does have shellac on it. So just something to think about there is uh, if you guys ever see the pictures from the 80s, um, during the Afghan war when the Russians were over there fighting, um, their, a lot of their AKs were finished with shellac and they had some bubbling on there. And that's because just by the nature of shellac, um, if you get it really hot, it can bubble. Now, Combat Customs, they do a process which is innovative in my opinion and a good idea where on the inside here of the handguards they put a clear coat that's designed to prevent the heat transfer and prevent the uh, bubbling of the shellac I shouldn't say prevent reduce because if you go ahead and you do a bunch of mag dumps with a slide fire stock on here or a bunch of rapid fire back to back there will be some bubbling however uh, the bubbling in my opinion kind of looks cool because it's more authentic if you ever look at those guns they all have bubbling so um, really up to you, but just keep that in mind if you're going to get one of the shellac finishes. There are finishes, like I said, that Combat Customs offers that are not shellac. So, I mean, just keep that in mind as you're picking what you want. If you want to order the furniture set direct from Combat Customs, you can do so. They do sell direct. I believe the cost for a finished product is right around $300 for an AK set like this. Uh, that said, they use the Ironwood Designs furniture, so keep that in mind. That furniture alone costs about $170 to $175. And uh, then they're refinished on top of that, so you're not paying all that much for the refinishing service. And if you have a uh, rifle that you'd like to have refinished, say you have a rifle with some old crappy wood on there, you can actually send that into them and they'll refinish it to your, um, your desires as well. They have a bunch of different types, oil, um, orange, like the Chicom Blonde, all different types of finishes that they offer. And uh, really, it's the world is yours in terms of which one you want. You just let them know and they'll let you know if they can do it and how long it'll take. But... They do a bunch of good stuff. Um, really, it's the best work in the industry as far as I know of uh, in terms of AK wood refinishing, true to period, and uh, true to the spec, if you will. It's, I mean, it's just excellent top-notch finishing and not a whole lot to complain about there. If you guys have any questions about this review or anything else I talk about here in the channel, you can always post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.